Hi everybody, this is Joanne, and today I'd like to talk to you about a book that's on a topic that is of interest to most of us, and today's book is called The Science of Kissing, What Our Lips Are Telling Us by Cheryl Kirschenbaum. This book is a short, sweet compilation of all the scientific studies and theories that we have to date about why we kiss and how we kiss and what is happening to our bodies as we kiss. She starts by looking at the history of kissing as well as the anthropology. Well, how is kissing different across different cultures? How does it change when a new uh, culture invades another culture, when Hollywood invades another culture? Um, then she tackles the questions of what is going on with our hormones? How does oxytocin and um, dopamine play a part in the thrill we feel when kissing or the bonding we eventually feel with our relationship partner. And also, did you know that when we kiss we're actually probably sampling some of the molecules in our partner to see if they are appropriate to help us raise our offspring. So what kind of offspring will we have? It's very subtle, but there seems to be indication that that's what we're checking out when we kiss. Also, she looks at how other species kiss, if you want to call it that, and what that means for humans. She was then also very curious, what is happening inside the brains of people when they kiss or when they see other people kiss? And since there was no research on that, she went ahead and recruited a friend of hers to discover uh, some of the answers to this. Now, um, and this research had not been published, so it was really something that was created just for this book, which made for a very interesting book. She does provide some practical tips on being a good kisser at the end of the book, um, but everything is done very tastefully and very appropriately. I think this is a very appealing book for a broad audience. So I highly recommend you go ahead and pick up this book called The Science of Kissing. Thanks so much for listening.